What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 28th JavaScript tutorial. Now before we continue talking about objects, I need to talk to you guys about something called an array. And the reason I need to do this is because objects use very often this thing called an array. So before I start talking to you about how to use an array with your objects, I need to actually teach you guys what an array is, why it's useful, how to create them, and all that fun stuff. So basically, I'm going to put it as simple as possible. An array is basically a way to store multiple values in a single variable, or in other words, a single object. So before, we had one variable and one value. Well, now we can have more than one value in the same variable. So you're saying, all right, Bucky, that just seems confusing, complex. Why on earth would you want to do that? Well, believe it or not, whenever you're working with a long list of like people's names or ages or maybe a long list of social security numbers, it's a lot easier and faster to create an array, and it's a lot more easier to manage whenever you're working with a long list. There you go. So let me show you guys a quick example of something you would need to create an array with. So, for example, if you had to list um, like a bunch of people's names, you might do this far person one equals Bucky bar person two equals Tommy and you do this 800 times well that's gonna take 800 lines of code and then if you had to print them all out it would take another 800 lines of code and it just gets all jumbled so an easier way we can do this is to create something called an array and then whenever you had to list them all and print them out it might only take 10 lines of code so now you can begin seeing the advantages. So let's go ahead and learn how to first create an array. Creating an array is similar to creating a new object. And by that I mean you go ahead and type a variable and then you type the name of your array. So let's go ahead and make an array with a bunch of people's names. So I'm going to name my array people. Makes sense? So now what you have to do, just like when you're creating a new instance, new but instead of your object name, you go ahead and write the name array. And this is built in. This is always going to be named array. And this tells JavaScript we're about to create a new array. Plain and simple. Now, as your parameters, you go ahead and type all of the values you want to store in that people array. So the first value I want to store is Bucky. The second one is Tommy. The third one is Sarah. Um, the fourth one is Hannah with one end, who cares? And the fifth one is um tsh, Mikey. Mikey T. Who the heck cares? So now you can see instead of creating five different lines with five different variables and five different values, we made this all on one line. How easy and compact is that? So now you're saying, alright, that kinda makes sense. So you have five different values in one variable it looks like so whenever I'm trying to use this later on like document if I spell it right document dot right okay Bucky what how am I supposed to print out like the name Bucky or something well if I go ahead and type people I know that's the name of the array but how does it know what one I'm supposed to be talking about right here well we have an array created right here and whenever we want to access one of the values of it we have to add something called an array index. Now an array index is basically this. Each of these values in here is numbered. And remember, whenever you teach a kid to count, you probably tell them to start at 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But with computers, computers talk in all zeros and ones. And just remember, anytime you're working with computers, computers learn to start counting at zero people learn to start counting at one. So this computer is going to say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So whenever you want to access this one, it wouldn't be 3, it would be 0, 1, 2. Alright, so now we know that each of these values is labeled with a number called an index. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So how do we access that? Well, you go ahead and you write the name of your array, and then in between square brackets, you write the number of that index. So Bucky would be zero. So now if we go ahead and save this and print it out, check it out, Bucky right there. So now let's go ahead and access like something like Hannah. Zero, one, two, three. So people three should be Hannah. Save that, 
and print it out. Hannah. Simple enough. So the only thing that you have to remember is this. In order to create an array, just go ahead and write the name of your array, and then go ahead and write new array, and then write as many values as you want inside your array. And anytime you want to access it, you just write the name of your array, and in between square brackets, go ahead and write that index. And remember, unlike whenever people count, computers don't start with one, they start with zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. So you can access any of these elements by using the index 0 through 4. And look what happens whenever you try to access something outside like 5. It's going to give you something called undefined because your computer is not going to know what you're talking about. So go ahead and save this and refresh and it says undefined. This is pretty much JavaScript's way of saying you got an error, you did something wrong, go fix it. So basically that is how you create an array and in the future tutorials I'm going to be showing you why these are useful and why it's a lot easier than creating just multiple variables. But for now, that's all I got for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out my website, and I'll see you next video.